breaking news concerning Donald Trump's legal battles. A judge has set a trial date of April 15th for his hush money case. Now, this is the case where Trump is accused of falsifying business records in connection to paying off adult film star Stormy Daniels. Trump has pleaded not guilty to all 34 felony counts in the case. And also breaking this afternoon, the bond in Trump's civil fraud case has been cut to $175 million. In this case, Trump and his business associates were found of engaging in fraud. Trump has said that he will pay that bond within 10 days. Now let's dive deeper into this breaking news. NBC 10 political commentator Sue O'Connell joining us now. Sue, uh, it appears Trump caught a break today. He now has 10 days to come up with $175 million instead of, of course, owing the full $454 million. My question for you is, if Democrats are so convinced Trump is guilty of everything they've accused him of, why run the risk of appearing to attack the justice system when it leans in his favor here? Yeah, Priscilla, that's a good question. For people who have already convicted Trump in their minds, I imagine it's hard for them to recognize that the legal system, although imperfect and flawed, tries to be fair. This price reduction is on the appeal, the bond, not on the judgment. And it's still a very, very big number, right? So I imagine the judges who made this decision were giving Trump a fair shot, they thought, to have his appeal heard. But to your question, one thing that Trump has done is cause people to have political whiplash. Some progressives who have long maintained that the justice system is unfair were celebrating the judgment, right, and praising the justice system. And now today, they're unhappy, saying another rich wa white guy got a break. So we're not going to know how fairly or unfairly the system is treating Trump until all the trials and appeals are done somewhere deep in probably the next century. The I'm next kidding. Century. I may not be. Who knows? Well, we'll see. Well, well, at least we have until the next 10 days to see if he can pay that. Turning to the campaign trail, though, despite his legal woes, Trump is doing pretty well we're seeing in most head-to-head -head matchup polls with President Biden. Do you think voters believe Trump is the victim in all of this? Yeah, Priscilla, every Trump voter I have talked to personally believes with all of their hearts and minds that Trump is a victim and the victim here. And even some wealthy people and business owners I've talked to think that Trump may have been overcharged in some of these cases. But let's be crystal clear here. The investigation into hush money payments was conducted by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, not Joe Biden and not the Department of Justice. But every time Trump speaks, he says it's Biden going after him. And Fox News, for example, just reprints his words without clarification or context. And people believe it. So far, President Biden has withheld comment on the trials for the most part. And I think the campaign is just going to let the testimony at the trials do the work to counteract that lie. So if Trump says he's innocent and says all this is happening because of President Biden and the DOJ, then why is he attacking the judges involved? Yeah, it's a little hard to keep track of Trump's narrative sometimes. Look, at I, I have not heard one legal expert say that attacking the judge on your case or cases is a good legal strategy, right? But this isn't really a legal strategy. It's a campaign strategy. So as long as Trump has someone to attack, and it doesn't matter if his line of thinking makes sense or no sense, he gets to be the victim, and he gets to raise money from being the victim. From the legal standpoint, look, at Trump is all in on this. If he gets elected president, many of his troubles with the law will be diminished or go away. If he doesn't win, we could just expect his legal team to keep yes. delaying and causing chaos. Well, Sue, hopefully we don't have to wait centuries, <laughs> like we'll you see. say. Hopefully this plays out soon enough. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And, of course, you can catch Sue every Sunday here on NBC10 Boston. At Issue is on at 1130 right after Meet the Press.